Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can process player input from a gamepad or keyboard and use it to move an object within our game. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. Also, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Right, let's get started by creating a new 3D project in Unity Hub. We'll add a plane to represent our floor by clicking the plus button on the hierarchy and selecting 3D Object Plane. Next, we'll add a capsule by clicking the plus button again and selecting 3D Object Capsule. We'll change the Y position of the capsule to 1 so that it sits on top of the plane. To process the player input, we need to create a script to contain our logic. To do this, we'll click on the Add Component button, search for Script and click New Script. We'll call the new script Player Movement. We've now created a script that is attached to the capsule. If we double click the script, it will be opened in Visual Studio. From here, we can edit the script to do what we want. The start method is called when the scene first starts. We won't be needing this, so we can just ignore it. The update method is called every frame, and this is where we'll be putting our input handling logic. The first thing we'll do is get the input from the player for the horizontal axis and assign it to a variable. This will result in a value between minus 1 and 1 being stored in the variable depending on what input there is. By default, Unity maps the horizontal axis input to the left and right arrow keys, the A and D keys, and the left and right movement of the gamepad left thumbstick. So, for example, the horizontal value will be minus 1 when we press the left arrow and 1 when we press the right arrow. Next, we'll do the same for the vertical axis. Unity has the vertical axis input mapped to the up and down arrow keys, the W and S keys, and the up and down movement of the gamepad left thumbstick. We'll now use these input values to make the capsule move. To do this, we need to create a three-dimensional vector for the direction we want the capsule to move. We'll set the direction for the x-axis to our horizontal input. We'll set the direction for the y-axis to zero as we don't want the capsule to move up and down and we'll set the direction for the z-axis to our vertical input. Next, we'll change the position of the capsule based on the movement direction. To do this, we'll access the object's transform and use the translate method to move it in the direction we want. We'll multiply the direction by time dot delta time. This is the number of seconds that have passed since the last frame, so we need to multiply by this value to ensure the capsule moves at the same speed regardless of our frame rate. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. Then we'll press play to try it out. If we press the arrow keys, we'll see the capsule moving in response. We can also move the capsule with the WASD keys or a gamepad if we have one connected. The capsule is now moving, but it isn't doing so very quickly. To fix this, we'll stop the game and switch back to the script to add a way to control the speed. We'll add a public variable to hold the speed at the top of the script. Then we'll multiply the movement by this speed. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. If we click on the capsule in the hierarchy, we'll see that because we made the speed variable public, it is now available to be set in the inspector panel. Let's set this to 5 and click play again. The capsule is now moving much faster. One thing you might notice is that if you move in a diagonal direction, the capsule is moving faster than when moving in one direction. This is because, in this scenario, the magnitude of the movement direction is greater than 1. Let's stop the game and switch back to the script to fix this. We'll fix the issue by normalising the movement direction vector. Normalising a vector maintains the direction but sets the magnitude to 1. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. If we play the game again, we'll see the speed is now consistent in all directions. You may also notice that when controlling the capsule with the keyboard that the motion doesn't stop immediately when the key is released. This is because the input decreases at a configured gravity rate. Let's stop the game and change this. We'll go to Edit, Project Settings and select Input Manager. We'll expand the axes and increase the gravity value of the horizontal axis to 18. We'll do the same with the vertical axis. Let's start the game again. Now the capsule will stop as soon as the key is released. 
Okay, that covers everything for this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys.